with a goal of ending the nation's sole reliance on Russia in 2017. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents... Stay cool. Hey, y'all. It's Thor's Day, August 20th. And we're talking about the dangerous stuff that involves space agencies, human space exploration, asterisk, Russia, and America. All right, great. Congressional slashes to NASA. Commercial crew forced Bolden to buy Russian rather than buy American. Now, here's the situation. We used to have an awesome space program that went to the moon and did a bunch of cool stuff. But then it decided that cool stuff was really expensive. At that time, I think the American debt was $500 billion in the 70s, 40 years ago. Now, the American debt is anywhere from $17.5 trillion to like $300 trillion, depending upon how you want to gauge it. And our human space exploration is still stuck in the 1970s, in the early 1970s, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. So it's all very weird. And looking under the cloak of this weirdness is dangerous at times. So, come on. So let's chat. Now... We had space shuttle, space shuttle's pretty cool. Then they did away with the space shuttle. And we have this like, multi-billion dollar apartment in low Earth orbit, technically out of space, 200 miles above Earth. The International Space Station. You got people on that thing doing a bunch of science. The type of science that Bill Nye and Neil deGrasse Tyson love. Love space station science, man. You gotta feed those people and bring them the new science parts, like every month or so. And somebody's gotta fly up and deliver those goods. Well. Since Congress and NASA's plan has been to basically have a non-functioning human space exploration program, we've had to be buying rides to our own space station that we built with the help of others from Russia, who we are mad at often and have been in a currency war for a while. Years now. Three, four, since quantitative easing, really. So, it looks like Congress has kicked NASA in the nuts again. When people get mad at me and hate NASA overall, I've reminded you, NASA is a function and an outlet of your government. You can't be a rebel at NASA. Works top down. The top is the president. And our space agency has been run by whoever's over the president. And there are people over the president, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't come to that conclusion yet in life, then Thor News might be a little advanced for you. If you haven't recognized that there are powers that be that tell our president WTF to do. God bless JFK. Nay, God keep you in good company always. All right, so let's read this fucking article. Sorry. It's the truth, man. Things are foobar. Sorry, it's foobar. Our space program is foobar. So you might get mad that I use the F word. I'm mad that it has gotten to this bad. August 11, 2015. Ken Kramer. Universe Today. U.S. Congressional cuts to NASA's commercial crew program forced NASA to buy more seats for U.S. astronauts to launch on Russia Soyuz capsules like this one launched from the Bake Onur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan Wednesday, July 22nd. Rather than the American crew capsules under development by Boeing and SpaceX for NASA. Okay, so if SpaceX and Boeing are American companies, Congress doesn't want American money being spent on American flights. That seems weird. Here are the Soyuz DMA 17M capsule carries Expedition 44 Soyuz Commander Oleg Konikko of the Russian Federal Space Agency, Russ Cosmos, Flight Engineer Kajel Lindegren of NASA, and Flight Engineer Kimiya Yu of Japan Aerospace. Agency JAXA in orbit to begin their five month mission to the International Space Station. Credits NASA A. Jimmy Grenadine. In the face of drastic funding cuts by the U.S. Congress to NASA's commercial crew program aimed at restoring America's indigenous launch capability to fly our astronauts to the International Space Station, ISS, NASA's administrator, Charles Bolden, is being forced to spend another half a billion dollars for seats on Russia's Soyuz spacecraft instead of astronaut transport ships built by American workers and American manufacturing faculties. The end effect of significantly slashing NASA's fiscal 2016 commercial crew budget request by both the U.S. Senate and the U.S. House is to tell NASA to buy Russian rather than to buy American. I don't buy that bullshit. Something weird is going on with our space program and our Congress. Who's telling Boeing what to do? <laughs> I'd like to know. Furthermore, the average cost per seat under the new contract with Russia rise to 81 million compared to about 76 million for the most recent contract, an increase of 7%. In response to the congressional CCP budget cuts, NASA Administrator Bolden sent a letter notifying congressional lawmakers about the agency's new contract modifications with the Russian Space Agency about future crewed flights to the space station. I am writing to inform you that NASA, once again, has modified its current contract with the Russian government to meet America's requirements for crew transportation services. 
Under this contract modification, the cost of these services to the U.S. taxpayers will be approximately $490 million to do some high school science experiments on the International Space Station. It's been up there forever. It's a high-rise apartment of science. Bolin wrote in an August 5th letter to the leaders of the House and the Senate Committee, responsible for deciding NASA's funding. The budget situation is completely inexplicable, given the relentless pressure from Congress, led by Senator John McCain on the Department of Defense and the U.S. aerospace firm ULA, to stop purchasing and using Russian-made RD-180 engines for the 100% reliable Atlas V rocket by 2019, as a way to punish Russians President Vladimir Putin and his allies. Our space agency should be based on being the best we can be, inspiring the people, and kicking ass. Our decisions should not be based on punishing presidents of other countries we have a hissy fit, tiff, almost actual war with. Why is our space agency such a clown car? And why would our own Congress want to give $500 million to the Russians instead of our own NASA sub-company? Why haven't we built a new rocket cooler than the Alice V? The Alice 5, man. Ugh. Because on the other hand, those same congressional leaders, because on the other hand, those same congressional leaders clearly have no hesitation whatsoever in putting money into Putin's allies' pockets via the NASA commercial crew account at the expense of jobs for the American workers, and while simultaneously potentially endangering the ISS as a hedge against possible Russian launch failures. Possible Russian launch failures. Multiple Russian and American rockets have suffered launch failures over the past year. Yeah, I don't even want to get into that, man. It's all very, 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 very weird. Boeing and SpaceX were awarded contracts by NASA's Administrator Bolden in September 2014, worth $6.8 billion to complete the development and manufacture of their of their privately developed CST-100 and Crew Dragon Astronaut Transporter under the agency's Commercial Crew Transportation Capability, CCT, CCAP. Program, Captain Thor program, got canceled, and NASA's Launch America Initiative. So Congress bet against NASA's Launch America Initiative. Congress bet against NASA's Launch America Initiative. Somebody out there saying Hail Hydra, and I don't think it's funny.